Hello, welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, I'm going to have a look at the quick cryptic from today's uh, edition of the Times. A reminder for those of you who aren't used to the quick cryptic, uh, quick doesn't mean it's easy. Um, it's just slightly easier, I suppose, than the, the, the full Times cryptic, but only in a couple of ways. Um, firstly, they tend to eliminate any really odd words, I think, from the quick cryptic, so you're not going to see such a range of vocabulary. And secondly, it's just smaller. Um, so you can see here that the, there are less clues, um, which is why it is, in a sense, quick. So let's have a look. Generous daughter uh, giving back into family. Okay. So again, our recommendation when you're starting to get into cryptic crossword clues is we need to be able to identify the definition. Once we identify the definition, this can effectively become a quick crossword, i.e. a crossword just with simple definitional clues, um, but with some extra hints that we can get from the wordplay. So how do we spot which side of this clue is the, is the definition? Well, the way to do it is to look for instructional words in the clue, because any words that indicate something about positioning things, they're going to be part of the wordplay. And often those words are very explicit in terms of which which words you need to adjust. So here we've got these words giving back in two. Now, so we've got the daughter giving backing to family. Well, giving back in two suggests we need to put a back on something, to put an end on it. Um, and the only thing that we can put an end on here is the is something that means family. Um, because there's only one word after the instructional phrase. So here we need a, a short word that would mean family and we're going to put a D on the end because D is a, a very common abbreviation for daughter that you see in these crosswords. And the whole thing will mean generous. So can you think of a four letter word that means generous? You might be able to think of two or three, but combined with the fact it probably ends in D, not too difficult, kind the answer with kin there for family. Um, I don't want to use the starting letters too quickly so I want to sort of explain how to go about reading these clues. So let's have a look at this one. One appeals to the people and to pupils wrong. Okay well here it's a bit harder to spot what the uh, which side of the clue is the definition. Uh, there's no um, you know, there's no real word there indicating the position of another word. There's nothing to really get your teeth into. So how did I solve it? Well, I looked at that word wrong at the end. And you need, always need to be looking out for anagrams. It's the absolute classic uh, form of cryptic crossword clue. And wrong can be an anagram indicator. Obviously, anagram indicators, what you're looking for is something indicating, you know, shuffling words, changing the... Uh, the order of them, developing them, um, moulding them in some way. And, you know, a fairly, I suppose, stark word that could be an anagram indicator is the word wrong. So we need eight letters, and if you count the letters of two pupils, you get, you get eight. So we need to anagram two pupils to give a word that means one appeals to the people. Pause if you need to. Do use the pause button. I'm going to type the answer now. Populist. And you can see if you solve those two clues, and neither of them are that difficult, all of a sudden you've got however many it is, six starting letters for these um, for the downs. I'm going to just do all the, the acrosses. Um, we hear spaniel, also bird. Uh, well done if you've solved that already. I haven't, um, so we'll come back to that one. Chef's business satisfactory. Okay, well again, there's no there's no instructional words here, so we need to be on the lookout for something else. And there are um, remember that especially in a four-letter answer, what we're going to have to have in terms of wordplay is very very short synonyms, so or abbreviations. So can you think of any abbreviations for any of the words in this clue? And there are a couple of classic ones. So the word business here. Whenever you see business, you should be thinking of the abbreviation CO, as in a company. Let's go for that. 
and then we need a two-letter word or abbreviation for something being satisfactory. If something's satisfactory, it's OK. Put them together, you get the word cook, which of course means chef. Spoils one section of the planet's sweet. OK, so this is a... This is actually a double definition clue, which is another standard type of clue. So there's actually you know, two definitional parts here. One is spoils, and one is one section of the planet's suite. So if you can think of uh, a word that means one or both of those, you'll get the answer, which is Mars. Oops, well it would be if I could type Mars. Decline a season with no commitments. Um, okay, now this is a nice clue, and since it's not double definition, there is it's a single definition, but the question mark there is is indicating that we're looking at some sort of pun. So a question mark in a quick uh, in a cryptic crossword clue tends to have two meanings. Um, it can be a pun, which is the case here, or it can mean that the answer is an example of, um, of the thing being question marked. So th that can be the case, but it isn't here. So how did I get a grip on this clue? Well, I looked at the word season. Now, obviously season can mean a few things. It can mean season as in to salt something, to add seasoning to it. It can also mean one of the seasons of the year. Now, the seasons of the year are all quite long words. Um, but interestingly, there is uh, an American word uh, for one of those seasons that does crop up quite a lot. And that word is fall. So if you suspect that one of these one of these four letter words is the word fall. Can you think of a word that means, or a phrase that means decline, that would include include that word and then has some reference to this with no commitments bit at the end? And if you have no commitments in the fall, you'd have a free fall, which is a decline. Guide soldiers approaching hill. Okay. Uh, It's interesting. Um, so when I first read this clue, I immediately thought of the word Nestor, N-E-S-T-O-R. But the alarm bells, and the, the reason for that is that Nestor was uh, in Greek mythology. He was a mentor or a guide. Um, and that ends in T-O-R, Tor, which is a type of hill, as in Glastonbury Tor. Um, but obviously then I needed NES to account for this soldiers bit. Now there are hundreds, well, not, probably not literally hundreds, but there are certainly two digit numbers of abbreviations or short synonyms for soldiers that appear in crosswords. So just off the top of my head you've got GIs, you've got RE for Royal Engineers, OR, other ranks, um, and you know, Royal Navy, Royal Marines, Paras, etc., etc. So we need a, we need we need something that works. And NES wasn't wasn't actually in my uh, ken as being an abbreviation for soldiers. So I needed something else. And in fact, Nestor was a mentor, and men is uh, soldiers. Obviously, are men um, fighting men. So we've got mentor here, which is a guide. So I was going a bit beyond, a bit beyond the scope there. Water bottle, a waiter ultimately carried into bistro. Okay, so here this is much more in line with the first clue here, where we can we can find some instructional words in this one. So carried into, that suggests we need to put something into another word, and we need so we need to put something into a word that means bistro. So you need a short synonym for a bistro and a waiter finally, ultimately there, is saying the letter A plus the last letter, the ultimate letter of the word waiter. 
So two things I'd note there. Um, so obviously we need to put an A and an R into a four letter word that means bistro. That's what we're looking for. But note the importance of that A there. This clue would read in exactly the same way from a sense perspective without this A in it. So water bottle waiter ultimately carried into bistro would be a completely acceptable sentence. So the fact that that A is included will, will be important. It means it's necessary for the wordplay. In good crossword clues, you won't find superfluous words. Um, and that's, uh, that is a very useful thing to know. So that A is there for a reason. That means that A will be part of the wordplay. We need a six letter word for a water bottle. And the answer is of course carafe. We've got AR in the middle of cafe there. Let's carry on, we'll just do the acrosses. Hot town with harbour, west facing, one near California. So how can we go about trying to pass this clue or analyse how it might be read? And this one is, this is probably the most difficult one we've come across. Um, now, I think the best way of approaching a clue like this is We've got this west facing bit, that certainly sounds like an instructional word, but there's quite a lot of words both sides of this west facing instruction. So actually getting a handle on which bit of the clue is the definition isn't that easy just using this west facing expression. We need, we need to think harder. And one trick you can use is to try and just cut the ends of the clue. Um, so let's have a look at this start of the clue, we've got hot town. Now, it's pretty clear, I think, there aren't any definitions of, you know, for which hot town would work. You know, how could hot town define anything? It doesn't mean anything. Um, so if this is the definitional side of the clue, we're probably just looking at the word hot. Let's look at the other side of the clue. You've got one near California. Now, again, it could just about be a definition, perhaps it could be the name of a state that's near California, but it's very loose. And therefore, I'd suggest the most likely definition in this, in this clue here, just, just studying the two ends of the clue, is the word hot. Now, when you see states of America uh, in a crossword clue, one thing to be aware of is that the abbreviation for the state can very often form part of the wordplay and California is useful in that regard because CAL is the abbreviation of California and obviously that can you know it's a useful collection of letters so one near California one can often be the letter I then California Cal so if this is the end of the clue can we think of a word that means hot that fits here? And it's not too difficult now, of course, the answer is tropical. And then you've got a west facing, i.e. a reversal of the word port, and a port is a town with a harbour. So, not again, not that hard once we, got, we were able to read the clue correctly. Some cheating in early part of competition. Okay, well this is a classic form of crossword clue. Uh, it's the easiest form, um, and often it's the one I think that indicates the set of skill. Because if you can hide a hidden clue, you can actually find the answer to this this clue uh, sequentially spelt out in this clue. So if you look in the word cheating, so some of the letters of the word cheating, you find the word heat, and heat, of course, is an early part of a competition. So this is a this is a very simple example, but in the very best uh, listener crossword clues, for example, you can often find that you can be completely stumped by a clue and find it's actually a hidden once you, um, once you do stumble into the answer. So here's another classic form of clue, small car heads for Milan in northern Italy. Um, we've got this instructional phrase again, heads for. So if we take the head letters, the starting letters of Milan, in northern Italy, we get Mini, which of course is a small car. Yelling be quiet before trip. 
OK. Um, so here, if we're looking for an instructional word, we've only got one. We've got the word before. So probably we need a abbreviation or a short word, which means be quiet. Then we're going to put that before a word, which means trip. And the whole thing will mean yelling. Now, be quiet. If you say be quiet to someone, you shush them. SH, very common crossword uh, abbreviation there. So we need a six letter trip at the end of this with the whole thing being yelling. And I think the most obvious, obviously, is shouting and an outing as a trip. Several having rest disturbed in English County. Okay. So, so here again. Um, this one is more difficult if you try to do it by using instructional words because you might see the word in there and think, oh, I need to put something in something else. And that would be a reasonable assumption. Um, I'll tell you the way I read this clue when I first did it. Um, the, the words rest disturbed here are very clearly indicating we need an anagram of the word rest somewhere. And Therefore, I thought you needed a four-letter word that means several, followed by an anagram of rest, and that would give you an English county. Now, in fact, that is correct, but when I first read the clue, I thought the county would end ER. So I thought it would be you know, Worcester or something like that. Now, in fact, that's, that's not what you need to do here. Several, you need some. Anagram of rest, R set, and we get Somerset, which is the answer. Manchester-based orchestra, well, okay, we, that's a bit of general knowledge there. If you know the Halley Orchestra, you're almost always, oh, you're almost solved the clue. Slightly too big for this concert venue. So the word slightly too big here is saying that we don't need all of the letters of Halley, which is H-A-L-L-E. Now, if we just take the first four, we get Hall, which, of course, is a concert venue. So we've just got to come back to eight across now. And this is probably the you know, the hardest across clue, so not solving it cold, oh no, I'll have to solve it cold now, it, or not solving it immediately isn't a, isn't a disgrace. So, and it gives us an opportunity to talk about what we hear means in a cryptic crossword clue. It's always indicating a homophone, so a word that sounds like another one. So we need to think of a type of spaniel, and then we need to write in letters here that sound like that type of spaniel we thought of. Also, well, that's tricky. A short synonym for the word also is the word to. Now, if I give you that, you can probably solve the clue because we need a bird that goes in here. And of course, a cocker spaniel, C O C K E R, sounds like, if we were to try and spell that how it sounds like, we could spell it like that. And that gives us cockatoo, which of course is a type of bird. So, a very nice clue. Now, I'll pause the video there, um, stop it. You can um, go through the downs in your own time. Hopefully, you've got enough help there. And if you use some of the principles we talked about with the acrosses, uh, you should be able to finish the puzzle. Any questions, please leave them in the chat. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic.